you guys. So we are on day two of my uh, weekly makeup routine. So today I'm going to be doing my contouring and highlighting. Um, and I'm also going to be doing my eyebrows. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them below for me. Alright, so here we are, day two. I am going to be doing my contouring and my highlighting and my eyebrows. I am going to be using my Anastasia contour kit that I just purchased because I'm really liking it so far. I have not used the banana powder in here like everybody else seems to use all the time because I'm really hooked on my Ben Nye powder. So, um, the only shade I'm actually going to be using in here is this shade right here. Let me see if I can pop it out and give you guys the name of it. So the color that I'm going to be using is called Fawn. Now that I've made a mess of this palette, jackass. And I'm just using this little brush right here. I bought it in like a travel kit. I don't even know how long ago from like the drugstore or something. I think it was on clearance. So I just bought a bunch of little ones. It has like a cow pattern or something on it. I don't really know. But I love this for contouring because it's got like the perfect shape. And it's not like super fluffy so that you're getting the contour everywhere. So I just take this brush. I absolutely love it. I'm trying to order a new contour brush. But the website I'm trying to order it from never seems to have it in stock. So <clears throat> anyway. Um, I'm just going to take a little bit on my brush. And basically what you want to do is go from your like the top of your ear down like you can feel like my cheekbone is right there so this is where you want to make that shadow contour so I'm taking a mirror so I can see what I'm doing and I do do the kissy face when I do this it's not really necessary but I do it You see that right there? We just created that shadow. It's to kind of make your face look a little bit slimmer, creating that fake shadow. And during the week, I don't go like hardcore crazy with it. This is actually extremely light. So let's do the next side. Like on the weekend when I do my contouring, I make it like a little bit darker and a little bit harsher looking, I guess you could call, because I really like that dramatic look when I'm like, <laughs> I don't know why I have to get dolled up to go shopping. Like that's pretty much when I run all my errands is like on Sunday. <laughs> I, I do like a full on crazy dramatic makeup look just to go to like the grocery store or to like Walmart or whatever, like all the chores I need to get done. I have a full face makeup on. Saturday, I work at uh, both my jobs. So yeah, I do do um, a pretty extensive face because when I go to the restaurant, it's dark and I like to have like a dramatic look going on. So just take a little bit more on the brush. And I like to do like right here on my like uh, jawbone because it, I don't know, I guess it, I don't really need it, but I like to just make this look a little sharper right here. Sorry, get the mirror out of the way. See how it just like creates that little shadow there? And then I do do a little bit like just right here on my lip because it makes your lip look a little bit fuller. So I just... Mm. Not too, too much because like for people who wear like a lot of lip gloss or lipstick, it just makes your lips look fuller when you put the color on. I haven't really been wearing lipstick or lip gloss. It's mostly been a chapstick because my lips are so chappy. And then just take a little bit more 
And what I do is I just pull my hair back a little bit and I go right in here and drag it up. This is just like, um, if you have a big forehead like I do, um, this just makes your forehead and everything look a little bit slimmer. Other side. When I was younger, I was like obsessed with wearing my hair back in like really, really, really tight ponytails and then hairsprayed. I don't know, that was like the thing for me. I always had a ponytail. I think up until like seventh grade, I was always in a ponytail. But, um, pretty ridiculous. But my teacher actually told me because she wanted me to wear my hair down one day for like, I think it was for like a school picture or something. She's like, why don't you take your hair down? And I told her I really couldn't because it was slicked back. And she goes, you're not, you're going to have a, a big forehead when you get older. And I was like, what? I didn't understand what she was trying to say to me. Like she was scaring me. She's pissing me off, scaring me. And I was in like fifth grade when she told me this. She's like, because you're pulling your hair back so much, you're going to get a really big forehead. And I was like, I never really thought about it. And <laughs> I think when I was in seventh grade is when I realized like, oh my God, my forehead is kind of big. So... I started doing different hairstyles, but yeah. <laughs> um, so I do contour my nose just a little bit. So I have, uh, this is actually like an e.l.f. crease blender or something. I don't really know which. I got it. I, I know it's an e.l.f. brush because it says e.l.f. on it. I can't really read the writing because it's so old. It's kind of wearing off, but I think it's like a blending crease brush. So I just take... A little amount on my brush, that same fawn color, and just draw like on the side of my nose. This light that I'm using is probably washing it right out. I cannot wait for my filming lights to get in because this is. I bought one of those daylight bulbs and I hate it. The reason why I use this brush rather than using um, like a, a liner brush or something is because for some reason I can never seem to blend that stupid line out when I do it. It takes me all day and then it ruins like all the foundation on my nose and it looks like a night. It's just a nightmare. So this is how I do it with this because as I'm doing it, it's also blending. So I don't have to do like an extensive amount of blending afterwards. And I just take a little more. I have like the worst Polish nose in the world because I'm mostly Polish, I guess. So I hate my nose. I think it's huge and weird looking, but everyone's like, oh, it's cute. Oh, really? Okay. So I just like to give it a little bit of a shadow so it doesn't look so ginormous. And then I'll just take like one of my fluffier blending brushes and just kind of just buff it out. Just so if there is anything that looks weird, you're buffing it right out. And sometimes like if I think it looks too dark, I'll just take that brush I used yesterday for my Ben Nye powder and I'll just run it down the center to give it a little bit of a highlight. So that is the contouring part of this video. Um, highlighting, I usually do after like all my makeup is set, but I am going to do it right now so you guys can see. I use a fan brush. This is, um, I don't, I remember I ordered it on eBay like a million years ago in like one of those kits or whatever. It's the shittiest quality brush in the world, but it works uh, well for like my... Uh, Becca highlighter. <clears throat> I know everybody on YouTube seems to have like the Becca opal highlighter, but I have the Becca da, 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 what is this one? Moonstone. It's more of like a, a silvery white. So I just take and rub my fan brush and then right on the cheekbone, back. See the little highlight it gives? So when the sun catches it, it's nice and shimmery. I 
do do my temples. And then whatever is left, I just kind of like go right in the center of the forehead, down the nose, and on the chin. You don't, I don't want like an extensive amount showing. So that is it for that highlighting. My eyebrows, oh my god. They're a freaking nightmare and a half, guys. Like, it's pretty bad. When I was younger, like in middle school, like before you go to like all the dances in school or whatever, everyone would go and get their eyebrows waxed. Oh, what a nightmare. So I went with a couple of my friends and got my eyebrows done at some nail place and what a hack job they did. One of my eyebrows, I think it's this one, was higher than this one and they were so paper thin like it was ridiculous. Like I looked like an idiot. So I waited years and years and years before I would ever let anyone touch my eyebrows again and then it was like back in 2010 or 2011 I think. I went to one of those eyebrow threading places and the girl was like, wow, I have work to do. And I was like, yeah, I pluck them at home, you know, but I'm trying to make them grow back right. But this woman, because she thought my eyebrows were just such a mess, she wound up making them even worse. And I was like, okay, clearly I can't let anybody touch my eyebrows. So what I use at the moment, I'm actually going to be mixing it up again, but at the moment I use um, the Avon Dark Brown uh, Brow Pencil and the Avon Blonde one. This is just, they don't sell this one anymore with the nice spoolie on the end, but I still have like a stockpile of them. Even though I'm not blonde, I use this one still. So I first take the dark brown one and I'm trying to stay in frame of the camera and still do this. And I don't go from the inner out. I go from about like right here and just start drawing that baseline and the shape that you want it. Do the same thing on the other eye for right now. I've heard really good things about like using, um, what the heck are they called? I can't think of the name of them right now, but like the pomade things, like the dip pom, dip pot, what, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but like those Anastasia brow pot things for your eyebrows, or the Anastasia brow whiz, which is pretty much just a really, really tiny, skinny uh, pencil. So I was going to try and get something like that to start doing my brows, because I really can't do much with these pencils. Like I basically just fill in my brows, that's all I'm doing, I'm not really getting them how I want them. Up top. See how I've kind of got like the, the point going on or whatever? All right. <clears throat> this is where I go in with the blonde one. And this one I just kind of do like flicking motions on the outside. Bring it up to kind of like blend it right in. This is so difficult for me to even explain. I feel like an idiot. This is just how I've been doing my brows for like the longest time now because I hate them. And I have to fill them in darker now because I dyed my hair so they don't match, so. Yes, I still have the sniffles. Alright. <clears throat> and then what I do is I just take either the spoolie on the back of the blonde pencil or I have, where the heck is it? Here it is, my Avon one, the Avon spoolie brush, what do you call it, brow brush. And I just pretty much wiggle and flick up. This really just blends it all together and gets rid of any access so that they're like, you know, it doesn't look cakey and fake brows. I've actually been asked if I had fake eyebrows and I was like, no, you can actually pull on my little hairs if you'd like.
So that's all I really do. And then like afterwards, I set with a brow gel. I'm still currently using this one here that used to be clear, which is the Salon Perfect Brow Sculpting Gel. They actually sell ones now where they're already like a color that to match your eyebrows, but I just usually use the clear ones. But after using this one for so long, it starts to grab the color from the brown, puts it back in the gel, so. This stuff, I, like, I recommend setting your brows no matter what because this holds them in place like all day long. I love this stuff. Any kind of brow gel, it's not this one. This one was like a buck somewhere, so. But that is basically my contour, highlight, and eyebrow routine. So, yeah. Um, now what I would normally do is start on my eyes and I use, which I need to go and buy more of. Oh, I can get it out of the drawer. I've been using this Too Faced eye primer for like the absolute longest time. Now it came with my um, Too Faced Return of Sexy palette. I love this stuff. I think this is probably like the best eye primer I've ever used because I've tried the Urban Decay ones and I think they're god awful cakey and ew, I didn't like them. I haven't tried any others, but I do hear there's other good ones. But so far I would go and definitely re uh, repurchase this one. Excuse me, I can't talk. <clears throat> my camera is running out of minutes, so I'm trying to go faster. So... This is what I've been using, the Avon one in the little pot. It keeps drying up. I'm fed up with the Avon one, so that's why I use this one. I like it a lot. So anyway, that is that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tomorrow I will be recording like my weekly eye that I do, which is pretty boring. It's nothing fun, but the weekend one will be more fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.